In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the multiple places you can actually place your JavaScript in relationship to your HTML document. In our first example, we were simply working in the body. Here, I have three scripts. In the heading section, I have a function named changedMe. When you're writing a programming function, that means that you're calling a block of code by name. You declare the function simply by saying function, then you give it a name. It always ends with an opening and closing parentheses, which will sometimes contain another value. Then anything between the curly brackets after that function name will execute. So this is the same line of code that we did in the last exercise, where we're just going to change an element by ID. We have change 1, change 2, and change 3. This will change 1 and it will tell you the code is from the head of the document. If we look at the preview here, you'll see that this is my starting value for the head function. If I call the button calls the head function and it changes it. How it does that, in our body we have just a header 1 to explain what's going on here. Then we have header uh, h3 with the ID of change 1. Notice that that matches here. It has the starting value for the head function. Then we have a button. And on click, if you click the button, it calls the change me function. So we have the change me function in the header, the change me function here. If we click the button, that makes this code run. So I've also added a change to ID for the body function. And the body function is right here in the body. Again, it's just changing it to show you that it's from the body document. So you can see you can have a named function in the header, a named function in the body, and what's really kind of cool is you can have a named function in an external script. If you're calling an external file, you'll, have, you'll still have your script type, because notice everything is in the script type text slash JavaScript, but you won't see the script because it'll give you a source which in this case is lesson 12-2.js. External JavaScripts end in the .js format, standing for JavaScript. And that file is right here, exactly the way we did the others. Function, external function, document, get element by ID, change 3, inner HTML, and this is a code from my external script. So you can see we create a named function that we can call from a button click, and we can put those functions in the head, in the body, or in an external file. And they should all work the same way. And you'll notice that they all work perfectly. Head, body, external script. Go ahead and create something similar to this where you're changing text using buttons from the head, the body, and an external script.